Hi again, everyone, and welcome back to the Global Oncotone by Onco Daily. Uh, as you know, we are we are doing this for 24 hours, and we will we started almost one and a half uh, hour ago, and we are continuing. Uh, we have distinguished guests from all over the world, um, oncologists, uh, families, uh, survivors, fighters, foundations, and, and now uh, it's my great honor to welcome here three distinguished guests from, from, um, the, uh, from Taiwan, Japan, and China. So first of all, I would like to in, uh, I, I will give just short intros for our distinguished speakers, and then we'll go ahead with our short session. First, I'd like to introduce Professor Ching Tian Peng, my dearest mentor from Taiwan, um, who I haven't seen for several months, and great to see all of you first of all here. Professor Peng uh, is a pediatric oncologist, hematologist oncologist who specializes in uh, mostly benign hematology. He is the past president of the Taiwan Society of Thrombosis and Hemostasis. And um, he is a professor of pediatrics and hematology and oncology at China Medical University and professor of biotechnology at Asia University. He is also the former superintendent of Children's Hospital of China Medical University. And uh, always when I'm talking about Professor Peng, I say that because of him, Taiwan for me became my second home. So thank you, Professor Peng, for being with us today. Uh, next, I would like to introduce Professor Hiroki Hori, the uh, president of SIOP Asia. Uh, Professor Hori, as I mentioned, is the continental president of the International Society of Pediatric Oncologists Asian uh, a chapter, and he's a professor at Graduate School of Medicine at my university in Tsu, Japan. He's the former chair of the International Committee of the J Japanese Society of Pediatric Hematology and Oncology, and he, he has been working for uh, Japan Ch Children's Cancer Group, the first nationwide study group for childhood cancer in Japan launched in 2014. He has also joined the International Medical Corp uh, Cooperation with limited countries in Africa as an expert of Japan International Cooperation Agency and has a strong will to contribute to WHO Global Initiative for Childhood Cancer as a uh, member of SIOP. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Hori, for being with us. And next, I'd like to introduce Professor uh, Feng Ming Spring Kong. Professor Kong is a master in clinical trial design and data analysis. Uh, she's an American board certified radiation oncologist, fellow of the American College of Radiology, fellow of the American Association of Women Radiologists, and fellow of American Society of Radiation Oncology. She is a cl clinical professor, director of imaging and blood biomarker group, director of thoracic oncology center and deputy cancer center director at Hong Kong University Shenzhen Hospital, Li Kang Xing uh, Faculty of Medicine, the University of Hong Kong. Professor Kong is a graduate of radiation oncology residency program from the Washington University in St. Louis and also had radiation oncology residency training from Shanghai. Cancer Hospital, Fudan University, and postdoctoral training at the Duke University. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Kong, and thank you very much, everyone, for being with us here. Uh, I would like to ask our uh, guests and honorary speakers to turn on their cameras. Um, before they, they do, uh, um, we are coming from different countries, from different backgrounds, but uh, I mean, we are working in, in the same field. And, um, um, th you know, today we organized this global oncoton dedicated to uh, pediatric cancer and drug discovery and to support pediatric cancer research, because the field is really lacking and kind of uh, pediatric uh, cancer drug develop development is uh, is not a priority in the global agenda, and we're trying to bring this there. I'd like to know your perspective 
first of all, about the situation of pediatric oncology in your countries, and second, about the initiative and about uh, your ideas on how we can move forward with this. Thank you very much. I think ladies first. Let's give the floor to uh, <laughs> Professor Gong and, and then Professor Hori. Okay, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's my honor and the pleasure, uh, pleasure to share my thoughts on uh, pediatric oncology, very important. Uh, as you mentioned, actually, I practice in U.S. for 20 years as radiation oncologist, also practice in China, now mainland China and the Hong Kong China uh, for almost like uh, five, more than five years. Um, so I have seen both east and the west side of the world. I, I, one thing I feel like a really burning for pediatric oncology is a clinical try, uh, clinical research in uh, in each country, uh, in China. You know, when I was uh, in US, like uh, almost like every patient treated in clinical try, COG, and I learned the learning of uh, you know advancement of treatment such as a worm's tumor, I uh, treated like uh, every step, uh, you know, every change of regimens associated with a very well designed, very clear, clearly designed trial. Uh, but in China, almost no such trial. Uh, they uh, few people. Uh, we are trying to you now as the president of uh, uh, China American Network, uh, funding president of China American Network of Radiation Oncology. Uh, so we are trying to introduce the uh, uh, West, you know, clinical trial uh, concept into China. Uh, find out that also the talents are very limited in China. Not only research uh, clinical trial limited um, the. I think this is something I think it's really burning. You need a lot of investment, a lot uh, try. And the U.S. have uh, more than 50 years history, uh, actually uh, talking about almost 150 years history in clinical trial. It was funded by government. However, in China, in uh, Hong Kong, China, zero zero year government tra uh, trained and uh, luckily interestingly actually it's really great news now uh, Chinese government are starting to support the clinical trial organization Shenzhen also in uh, the Hong Kong government has just decided to, uh, to invest six billion on uh, building a clinical trial uh, institute uh, which is really important uh, for uh, for the altogether in medicine, but the pediatric has not been brought onto the table of uh, for priority. I think uh, it's uh, you know clinical trial in PDR, pediatric group are important, and also myself being very lucky that supported by uh, by uh, Shenzhen government, mainland China Shenzhen government for building clinical trial uh, platform uh, that. Uh, uh, that uh, about thirty million dollar uh, from uh, the Shenzhen government, probably the first try ever in China, supported by some kind of a government organization. Uh, but also a, a little bit embarrassing, we have not put a lot of effort on pediatric oncology. I do have a friend, uh, uh, our current president of. Uh, China American Network of Radiation Oncology, who is pediatric oncology uh, uh, actually expert in practicing as professor in Universal Nebraska. I think uh, uh, I was we were discussing about effort in China, Hong Kong, uh, Beijing, and we'll have a meeting probably focus on clinical uh, trial oncology, pediatric oncology, end of this year in Hong Kong. So, so clinical trial, clinical trial, we need a, we need a support. Drug company, technology company, you know, uh, also very important. And that drug is important for me. Uh, technology is also very important. Uh, there's so many advanced technology, including AI and uh, radiation, a lot of precision radiation uh, technology that has been widely extensively researched in uh, in adult cancer, like a stereotech body radiation, uh, but has limited uh, uh, 
uh, support um, doing, uh, you know, uh, clinical trial at the same time uh, for the advanced technology, for example. But I think a proton, we're getting a lot of proton for radiation therapy that can decrease the doses uh, to not <clears throat> to normal tissue which is very important, but I think we have more than proton. We have, you know, proton is a very expensive, very expensive machine and that with limited uh, skilled, skilled technologies to use it. If you don't know how to use it, if you have good machine, then it's not going to be very helpful. I think we need the training talent to do the training. But importantly, I think we need to use the available, like a linear accelerator, precision radiation therapy. Uh, one thing I'm focusing in our big group as a priority is immune sparing radi precision radiation therapy. Not, you know, every piece of normal tissue are very important for to protect, not for particular for pediatric. You know, the radiation damage to the lymphocyte, to the blood, people did not have not pay attention that we, in our group, our research find out that it's critically important, not only for tumor control, but more importantly for survival quality of life. And this is almost zero research in pediatric oncology. Uh, we need to really learn. We need to learn I think uh, into a clinical trial, we need to get every patient into trial. What I mean, the clinical trial is not, not only for treatment trial, collecting data, observational study, is also a clinical study. So you collect every information possible, build a big data, because the pediatric, it's a rare cancer in another way. That's another reason uh, that it's rare, it's not so common. That's why the, we are you know, kind of being neglected. neglected. So I think we need the first of all, I think most important, collect data every patient you treat. Uh, you ask every patient in clinical trial, uh, in some kind of treatment trial, but if we don't have time, don't have money to do the trial first, why don't we collect all the information? And we actually have a trial open that we can collect the information, not only treatment, tumor treatment outcome, but also treatment toxicity, quality of life. On the, another thing, as you mentioned, I'm most excited about, I think most important for pediatric as well, imaging biomarker, blood marker is something minimally invasive. We can collect them, like even blow, even CBC, lymphocyte, subtyping, those kind of simple things you can do in daily practice. We collect them, get all the data together, and build a bank of data. And then we're learning from this. So the final priority, that, you know, final priority, find something that is better, you know, more not only better, more position, better, cheap, uh, I think a better, faster, and cheaper as well. Better, faster, cheaper. Using all the technology possible. We have a lot, a lot, but we have don't have time to work on that. So I'm so glad that you guys are working on this. Get a global expert, you know, get a global expert, expert you know, expert together from every field, get the best of the best for our children, the best, our future, really our future. We can do better. We have a lot to do. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Kong. Thank you very much for the bringing also the perspective on the clinical trials, the importance of clinical trials. And um, I totally agree with, uh, with your comments about it. And also, it's great to hear your perspective as a radiation oncologist who has been practicing in different um, uh, settings, was in like uh, resource rich settings, like you were in the United States, then in Hong Kong, and also in mainland China. So I think it's really interesting to hear your perspective. Thank you very much for that. I'd like to uh, also, uh, before giving the floor to our next speakers, I'd like to remind our uh, the, the people who join us every uh, every minute or uh, and during the Oncoton, you may leave your comments to our speakers or just your um, um suggestions or questions in the chats uh, we are live streaming in different channels on social media on youtube uh, on several places so 
please engage with our, our, us and using the chat and we'll be happy to uh, to uh, give you uh, give you the floor by raising your questions here and I'm going to uh, I think we have a problem with Professor Peng's camera Professor Peng uh, I think there is just you need to push the button to turn it around the camera please try it that way before you uh, you do I will give the floor to Professor Hori and uh, just briefly, Professor Hori, if you could uh, share your ideas about the uh, situation of pediatric cancer in in uh, Japan and in as a SIOP Asia president in SIOP uh, in Asian region, and also your perspective about the drug development and the importance of such initiatives. Okay, thank you, the Gabon, Thank you for your kind introduction. Can you hear me? Is okay? Very well. Okay. The, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I'm Hiroki Hori, a pediatric oncologist working in Japan. I am a member of the International Society of Pediatric Oncology, SIOP, and currently in the position of Continental President of Asia in SIOP. As a Continental President of SIOP Asia, I would like to share my wish to save all lives of children with cancer in Asia and in the world. World Health Organization, WHO, initiated the Global Initiatives for Child Cancer, WHO GICC. SIOP and SIOP Asia get actively involved in the activities and I myself strongly hope to contribute to the improvement of survival and quality of life of children with cancer. Advocacy for children with cancer is strongly emphasized in the activities of WHO GICC. In this point, the activity of Oncotone will be a great support to children with cancer. The development of new therapeutics and well-designed clinical trials have been producing better outcome of patients with pediatric cancer in the last several decades, mainly in Western countries. Of course, many oncologists in low- and middle-income countries have contributed to advancement in pediatric oncology in each country. But, there are still a lot of barriers against the best practice in pediatric oncology in these countries. We would like to make more effort for delivering the better oncology care to children with cancer in these countries. I believe that common mission is to reduce the disparity in the practice and care for children with cancer and their families between low, middle, and high-income countries. Let's work together for children with cancer. Thank you for your kind attention. That is my message. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Hori. Thank you for the, your great message. Uh, uh, and uh, I'd like to give you the floor to Professor Peng to uh, to give his insight on the pediatric uh, oncology situation in Taiwan and about the importance of this, uh, the pediatric drug development and the situation in general. Professor Peng, the floor is yours. Thank you, for uh, Professor uh, Tama Yang. You are you are inviting me to participate in this important uh, activity. So every every dear team guest, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good, uh, good day. I am Dr. Chin Tian Peng, a professor specializing in hematology and oncology at the China Medical University Children's Hospital in Taichung, Taiwan. Uh, with over 30 years of battling childhood cancers, I'm also privileged to serve on the board of the Taiwan Can Childhood Cancer Foundation. Today, Uncle Daly is hosting a global telethon 
dedicated a pediatric cancer research. This 24-hour initiative aims to raise cru uh, crucial funds for an international clinical trial focusing on the Volocet team uh, developed by the Onco Heroes Biosciences. Pediatric cancer is a tough challenge, but your contribution can truly make a difference. Every donation will support the A.D. Anderson Avera Laptomyosarcoma uh, Research Fund, uh, backed by the MSY Open Childhood Cancer Foundation. I urge uh, and invite each of you to join us in this noble noble course. Visit the REM Fund online and the let's join, join hands in the fight against the pediatric cancer. I'm thrilled to part of this uh, first global on song, uh, uncle song to raise awareness uh, about the pediatric cancer and the thanks much of the professor Pamimian uh, invited me here as well. It's also a real honor for me to share my experiences with you all. Firstly, say, uh, let me introduce the childhood cancer Foundation of Taiwan since 1982. We've been providing care for children with cancer and spreading awareness from setting up data bases to hosting parents' meetings. We are fully committed. While we've made progress, uh, progress we, 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 the, with the 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 rate, cure rate jumping from 60 percent to uh, almost 90 percent. There is still work to be done. Over 10 percent of cases still see children succumbing to this disease, especially in challenging situations like dyslexia. But we are not uh, giving up. Together, we are paved the way for the brighter cancer-free future for children worldwide. <clears throat> Secondly, uh, we are assembling a crucial team to tackle cases with high mortality rates, those that relapse for resist standard treatments, molecular profiling and uh, genomic characteristic offers a targeted therapy for, for such pediatric cancers, I mean for precise therapeutic targets based on individualized profi profiles. Our, our ongoing study at China Medical University Children's Hospital uh, in Taiwan focused on pediatric and young adult patients with high risk relapse for refractory cancers uh, by harnessing the power of the genomic profiling and bioinformatic analysis we tailor selective targeted therapies to match individual operations. This holistic approach holds promise in significantly improving disease control and the survival outcomes for pediatric and young adult patients with relapse and refractory cancers. In conclusion, uh, let's join forces and then our voices to those who need them most. Together, we will relegate the childhood cancer to the historical focus. Thank you for being part of this global movement. Your support means everything. Thanks a lot. Once again, bye bye. Can you? It's okay. Can Thank you, you very much, Professor Peng. Thank you very much for for your insight. Thank you very much, Professor Hori, and uh, thank you very much, Professor Gong. Um, uh, it's it's really uh, important to have the, the to have the insights from different countries and opinions from different countries because one size does not fit all. And I think in um, various areas we have uh, the the problems really differ. So we need to have the perspective from everywhere, and uh, it, that's why it's very important. Um, 
And also this is a sign of unity against childhood cancer when we are logging in from all over the world and showing our support for one cause. Whether we are in Japan, Taiwan, China, uh, um, yeah, United States, Europe, Africa or elsewhere. Thank you very much again. And um, uh, we are going to continue our, uh, our, uh, our global Oncoton. It's the second hour already uh, coming to the end, but we ha still have another 22 hours to live stream on different channels. I would like to remind uh, all our followers and people who are joining us, leave their comments, suggestions, and just share us. And uh, don't forget to donate for, for this, uh, as Professor Banks mentioned, noble cause. Thank you very much again, and let's continue. Thank you.